Hi guys! Welcome back sa aming YouTube channel. Kung basta na po kayo lahat, just ko, tagal ko po mag-update ngayon kasi I've been busy for something else po and we have some personal issue po na kailangan mo nang i-address bago po ang... <laughs> so, yun lo. Pasensya na po. Medyo super delay ang aking update sa inyo. Pero meron po ako magandang balita, magandang balita ang isi-share sa inyo na pwede nyo pong gawin this time around kasi... Bago po akong simulan na aking video po, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe po sa aming YouTube channel for more updates po sa inyo. And thank you. Uh, the, the, sa mga nag-i-inquire talaga, kasi nag, nag, ano, nag, uh, yung friend ko na nasa Dubai siya, classmate ko siya yung high school, isya shout out ko lang po siya ngayon. So, biglang po sa isip ko, oh, nga pala, no, nakalimutan ko palang i-share sa inyo na, uh, Nag-open na po uli ang caregiver po sa mga gusto mag-apply. Pag-uusapan po natin ang dapat yung gawin kapag nakakita kayo ng employer. So, pa, saan po makakahalap ng employer? Pag-uusapan po natin kung saan at kung paano po ninyo malalaman ng employer ninyo or legit at paano niyo po rin malalaman na kayo po talaga ay may employer na dadat na dito sa Canada. So, pag-uusapan po natin ang bag, ang ang papano, anong anong klase, anong anong title ang kailangan niyo applyan para sa pag nag-search kayo ng job, uh, job search, alam niyo kung anong hahanapin niyo. At saka yung mga requirements, pag-usapan natin. At saka yung dapat din meron meron niyo i-take note sa inyo kapag hina-hire po kayo ng employer, na dapat meron kayo sa inyong contract. At ang pinakamaganda po is yung sweldo bilang isang caregiver or what we call now is a home child care provider or home support worker. So ito po yung, ang tawag po is home child provider pilot uh, under siya ng NUC44100. Pwede nyo pong i-search. Pumunta lang po kayo sa cic.gc.ca po. I'm gonna add in my screen, okay? So, search nyo lang po NOC44100 and that's that that's home child care provider pilot. And yung isa naman pong pilot program ng Canada ngayon is home support worker pilot under NUC44101. So, home child care provider, ito po yung mga uh, you will become a permanent residence once they have 12 months of eligible work experience in Canada. So, let's say the family members who come to Canada to work or study while well, they get uh, they get work experience. So, so paano po mag-hire ng caregiver from overseas? So, sa mga employers, sa mga employers na may halimbawa meron kayong meron kayong kang mag-anak sa Canada na pwede niyo pong maging employer. Pwede nyo pong i-share sa kanila kung paano po ang procedure, anong dapat nilang gawin. Kagaya ko po, I'm planning to um, to hire my pamangkin din po as a caregiver. Pero I'm in the process na may tinatapos ang po kung program ngayon. So pagkatapos po nun, eh, mag-start po ako. So i-share ko po yung journey po, paano ko po siya mahal as caregiver. Para po mag idea nyo kung paano nyo rin po i-suggest sa mga kamag-anak nyo na pwede nyo sila maging employer. Or kapag may nakita na po kay employer sa, sa mga job website, pwede nyo rin po siyang uh, magawa by your own po, okay? So una, ang kailangan po ng employer para mag-hire ng overseas workers as a caregiver is kailangan niya mag-submit ng labor market impact assessment or we call it LMIA. So this is through temporary foreign worker program. Sa, yan po yung paano mag-hire ng caregiver outside Canada. So, how to hire the pilot? So, ito, ito po yung pilot. Pag-usapan po natin. So, if you are an employer, so, kunya employer ako, mag-hire ako ng, ng caregiver, dapat eligible po talaga yung candidate. Nakukunin nyo is either here in Canada, in Canada, or overseas a foreign worker. Then, you have to provide them the offer offer of employment so you, you should submit the application in one of the pilots kung ano po yung kailangan, gusto yung apply na pilots and then also the employer will decide if it's leave in or leave out caregiver so make sure the candidate is eligible too 
So, yan po yung pag-usa, yun din po yung take na sa employer. So, kailangan din po ang candidates ninyo na i-hire yung caregivers is eligible, which includes yung language language test po. So, Canadian post-secondary diploma or at least one year of educational credential assessment report. So, Canadian kasi sabi kasi dapat may equivalent po na Canadian secondary diploma. Kaya dapat po talaga dumadaan tayo sa ECA. Yun po yung Educational Credential Assessment Report. And then, if the employer, if you may employer na po kayo, or if you are an employer, so you should make an offer, uh, offer of employment. So, dapat nyo i-check kung yung offer of employment ninyo is genuine or totoo and there is a valid job offer. Dapat po, pag na-fill up yung po, yung, pag nakatanggap kayo ng offer, offer of employment, dapat you should, you and the employer will sign for it po, okay? And if you want someone na mag-live in siya, so dapat uh, i-consider nyo po yung mga the following condition po sa bahay. Dapat meron siyang ang, ang caregiver ninyo or living caregiver. You should have a private and furnished room. Tapos meron po kayong lock. Dapat may lock po yan. Tapos may light and heating. Tapos closet. Parang it's a separate room for you alone po talaga. Um, dapat meron kayong susi with your own door. Tapos uh, include po yung requirements. Kaya kung employer kayo, kailangan meron kayong munisi municipal building requirements and provincial or territorial health standard. Kailangan yung room na patitirahan nyo, nyo sa yung caregiver is dapat po talaga nakasunod kayo sa health and safety standard ng provincial kung saan kayo na basically yung address ninyo kung saan nyo dadalhin ang yung caregiver. And then the workers hours must meet the requirements. So, so if the sa bahay, 8 uh, hours uh, per day ang trabaho mo, if you, if you work more than that, is considered as an overtime. So, dapat po nakasunod din ang employer sa ganun. And also, you should know also that one, okay? Dapat nandun yun sa offer of employment. Kailangan, kaya, kailangan nyo po talagang bas, uh, basahin ang offer of employment sa inyo ng inyong employer. So, once kunyari na-approved kayo, dapat ang work permit, ang offer of employment mo valid for 3 years. So, the, you still have enough time to apply for your permanent residency. So, yan po ang mga basic lang po. So, if you want to get more further details po, more information, so go to www.cic.gc.ca and then uh, type nyo lang po doon sa search bar, NOC code na yung sinabi ko, uh, 4412 or 44101 ibibigay na po sa iyo sa inyo ng website ng, ng, ng Government of Canada website. Ang lahat ng detalye na kailangan nyo pong gawin. So, yun po yung pinaka-importante lang kailangan ko ibigay sa inyo yung kailangan yung unahin pa nag-apply kayo kung meron na kayo and the employer also. Ngayon, pag-uusapan po natin ang mga sweldo. Excited ako sa sweldo. So, ito yung mga uh, possible, kinumpare ko po ang sweldo, comparable uh, salary po na dapat nasa job offer ninyo. So, dapat ang sweldo ninyo, pagbasihan nyo po yung job offer. Pero normally naman, uh, hindi naman talaga bumababa ang sweldo ng caregiver. So, dapat sweldo nyo talaga pag nakakuha kayo ng galanting employer, they, just, they might offer you higher than the, uh, you know, the wages, criteri criteri uh, wages criteria sa, ano, sa, sa Canada. Okay, so... Ibibigay ko lang by province na lang kasi ito by province, by city pa, by region. So, sa we're gonna start sa ano po, sa Newfoundland, Newfoundland of Labrador. Newfoundland and Labrador po. So, there's a certain ano po kasi bawat region ko. So, i-maximize ko na lang po ang the highest um the highest the highest wage po ng caregiver is $18 per hour. And the lowest po is $15 per hour. So, ganun na lang po ha. So, next. Sa Prince Edward Island, the highest pay is $33 per hour. Oh my God. And the, the lowest pay for them is $14.50 per hour. So, depending kung baka natanggap kayo ng offer in between, that's good enough, right? So, Nova Scotia province. Maray pong region din po. Iba-iba din po. So, ibibigay ko na lang po sa inyo ang 
uh, uh, estimated ano nila, higher pay. So, it's $21 per hour and the lower pay is $14.50 per, do, uh, per hour. Yan po sa Nova Scotia. So, New Brunswick, the higher pay is $16.73 per hour and then the lower pay is $14.75 Quebec I love Quebec so the higher pay the higher pay in Quebec is $22.35 per hour and dami region kasi ng Quebec so the lower pay is $15.25 per hour 15.25 per hour po okay Ontario the higher pay in Ontario is oh $32 per hour that's the higher pay in Ontario and the lower pay is $15.50 per hour. So, yun po sa Ontario. I live in Ontario. So, yeah. <laughs> mara, mara. Lalo na po, ba, kinuha lang po kayo ng weekend caregiver. Ang laki po nang bigay sa inyo ng mga employer. Kasi I have a friend na intact pa rin siya sa kanyang amo. So, kinukuha pa rin siya pag weekend. So, Manitoba. Manitoba province. The higher pay in Manitoba and different region din po. So, it's $21.75 per hour. The lower pay is 14.15 per hour. Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan, the higher pay is 25.19 per hour. And the lower pay is 13.75 per hour. So, per hour po ang rate dito sa Canada. Take note nyo po. So, if you work to 8 hours, multiply nyo lang po magkano ang sweldo nyo per day. So, Alberta. The higher pay in Alberta is 24 Oh no 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 it's $25 per hour and the lower pay is $15 per hour. Alberta is very very nice a province as well. So British Columbia, so Vancouver, there's so many regions in uh, uh British Columbia. The higher pay is $28 per hour. And the lower pay is 16.75. Of course, napakataas po ng stano, living standard sa Vancouver. So, the minimum, uh, the lower pay is 16.75. So, Yukon Territory, the, oh my God, $32.38, uh, 32.83 per hour. And the lower pay is 16.77 per hour. Northwest Territories, $35 per hour and higher pay. The lower pay is $15.60. And Nunavut, uh, $35 per hour din po. And then $16.50 and the lower wages po. So, so far, ang pinaka-higher pay po talaga is yung Yukon Territory, Northwest Territories, and Nunavut. Kasi po, medyo ang weather na super, super lamig. So, if you want to save money lang to para mabayaran yung mga ginasa pag apply sa, sa Canada at kung saan kayo makakuha ng employer why not kung saan yung province ng Canada at least Canada pa rin di po ba no huwag na munang mamili basta ang mahalaga makapagsettle kayo makakuha kayo ng papel sa Canada anytime once you have your documentation once you have once na mag, naging PR kayo you can move anywhere in Canada province to start with your family so as I said always yeah, uh, pwede niyong tiyagaan ang inyong step, uh, stepping stone niyo kung saan mang province and then in the long run in the long run you can uh, you can apply for your you know yung anong gusto mong career after all, di ba? So yeah, so kailangan niyo rin pong kumuha ng education and training experience po. Kaya kasama din po pala sa requirements po 'yon. Education and training experience po. So employers are responsible for ensuring that TFW TFW being hired have all the trainings, qualification, experience required to successfully and safely perform the job duties of the position for which they are hired. So, TFW being hired for, for uh, National Occupation Class in OC Training Education, kailangan po talaga meron kayong caregiver certificate, uh, meron ka experience, uh, naka, nakatungtong kayo ng university degree or college diploma, Kasi yun ang equivalent natin sa school. So, kaya ka lang ng EKA. So, employers hiring a TFW's regulated occupation in Canada must ensure that arrangements are made with the appropriate regulatory body for the certification, registration, or licensing of the TFW. Ito po yung 
two pathways po ng permanent residency for caregiver which are caring for children, caring for people with high medical needs. So, madali po kayong, ito po yung bagong permanent residency application na pwede yung applyan. So, if you were hired as a caregiver, you can apply for a permanent residency pathway dito sa Canada. So, of course, kailangan nyo kayong, meron kayong experience as a caregiver, you should have a record of employment or certificate of employment na ipoprovide nyo to to justify na meron kayong naging experience as a caregiver. So, itandaan nyo po, ito po kasama pa rin po sa mga requirements. Nakalimutan ko i-mention sa na, una kong nabanggit na requirements. Kasama po ito uh, sa requirements ninyo in order for you to get hired from the Canadian employer. So, sa employer naman, employer must provide proof that they are dependent in need of care. So, ito po yung mga documentation na magpo-prove na, na eligible ang employer to hire a caregiver. So, dapat meron kayong uh, birth certificate ng child na aalagaan. Tapos, if your uh, employer is looking for a senior na aalagaan, so dapat meron din pong birth certificate na matanda ang inyong aalagaan. Tapos kung may mga sakit naman, may mga chronic disability, terminal illness ang inyong alagaan, dapat din meron kayong uh, tawag ito, document na galing sa uh, recommended ng family doctor. Yan, signed by, uh, signed by the uh, family physician that this patient na alagaan ninyo is meron siyang uh, uh, chronic or disabled siya. So those kind, okay? Yan, so... So far, yun po yung mga kailangan nyo ready sa pag-apply po ng home child care provider o home support worker. So guys, paalala ko muli, sa agency na aking sinashoutout sa inyo ngayon is wala pa pong caregiver na open. But you can still go to www.jobbank.ca.gc po. Meron marami po talaga kayong makikitang employer na nangangailangan ng caregiver. We never know kayo ang magustuhan basta presentable ang inyong resume. Ayusin niyo po talaga na mag-stand out kayo sa employer. Yun po ang inyong the best key para po mapili kayo at para mag, ma, ma, masundan po ng next step like interview, uh, going through all the process po. So, tandaan nyo po yun uh, na may mga documentation na kailangan nyo i-ready. And also guys, shout out ko lang po, uh, kailangan pala ni agency ng dog training. <laughs> uh, if you if you are working as a dog trainer right, right now, send me your resume. Make sure yun po yung follow nyo po yung mga job duties po na i-add ko po sa aking screen. Okay? And also, shout out po sa aking mga successful candidates po na napili ni agency. Uh, Nakapag-submit na po siya ng mga documents. Si Giovanni Malaba, John Hexon, Wendell Doministo, Angelo Eusebio, Wilmer Facon. May tikita pala si Wilmer. See you soon. Marie Bala, si Archie Tan. Dumating na na. Shout out ko na siya dati. Shout out ulit. And marami pa pong iba, ito lang po yung nalista ko. So, hindi pa ako nakapag-check lahat ng aking emails. Pasensya na, I'm gonna do it sooner, sooner po. Thank you and congratulations po sa inyong lahat. And hopefully to see you soon all. So, good luck sa mag apply ng caregiver for this year. I'm hoping and praying for you guys na makakuha kayo ng legit and eligible employer for you. And make sure you are eligible too, okay? Good luck and God bless ating lahat. God bless. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Good luck. Bye for now.